Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 8, friction. And the problem says that determine the maximum weight of the main can lift with constant velocity using the pulley system without uh, and then with leading block or pulley at E. So uh, in the first case, we don't have any pulley and in the second case, we have pulley somewhere here. So in the first case, the, uh, the cable is making some angle, 45 degree angle. And in the second case, the cable is straight, it is making zero degree angle. So for both the cases, we have to find the maximum weight that the main can lift. It is said that the main has a weight of 200 pound and the coefficient of static friction between his feet and the ground is 0.6. So we are going to consider three free body diagrams. This is for case one, this is for case two, and this is the pulley. So at pulley, as we can see that uh, if I cut this rope, let's say if we, if we cut this rope somewhere here, so then we will have the tension T going to act here. And as we can see that since this is one single rope, so we will have the same tension all around the rope. And if I cut uh, these ropes here, so we will have tension T going to act upward, we will have T upward, we will have T upward. So we will have three tension forces in the upward direction. So here we will have T, we will have that same T, we will have that same T, they are going to act in the upward direction. So let's say we have T, T and T. And here, uh, if we consider the main as a free body diagram, then we will have that tension T going in the opposite direction like this. So here we will have that tension T like this. Um, let's see, let's see this is tension T in the case number one. And here uh, we will have the weight. Weight is going to act in the up, in the downward direction. So let me write that this is the weight. So we will have that weight in the downward direction. So in the problem statement, you said that determine the maximum weight the main can lift with constant velocity. So with constant velocity, it means that uh, the overall system needs to be in equilibrium right otherwise the velocity will not remain constant so we have to find that tension t which the main needs to apply and if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero for this pulley since the since this pulley and the remaining system is in equilibrium so i will write that for pulley if we apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero and the upward direction is considered is assumed to be positive. So now as we can see that in the upward direction, in the positive direction, we have three T. So T plus T plus T will give us three T and the weight is acting in the downward direction. This is equal to zero. So we will have T equals to W divided by three. So now the tension in the cable or rope is equal to one third of the weight that we are going to lift. Now we will consider the uh, case number one or we will consider the general case. Let's say that this T is making some angle. We are not going to consider this 45 degree angle. We are considering any angle. So let me remove this angle and we are considering any angle theta here, which is acting. So we will have the general equation for, for both the cases. So let's say this is some angle theta. So now uh, this, the tension is making some angle theta with the horizontal so we can resolve this tension t so we will have one component in this direction this one will be the t cos of theta and we will have one component is going to act in the upward direction so this one will be t uh, sine of theta this is t sine of theta and since the main is going to push the ground uh, towards the left so the friction force will oppose that uh, feet movement and we will have the friction force in the opposite direction. So we will have the surface friction in this direction. And let's say that is represented by small f. 
and the surface is going to apply the normal force on his feet so we will have the normal force in the upward direction and let's say that normal force is n so now since the the coefficient of static friction between the feet and the ground is 0.6 then this small f will be equal to uh, 0.6 times the normal force so now we are going to write uh, the equation the general equation in terms of theta and then we will apply that a general equation to both the cases so now since uh, this main is in equilibrium and uh, we need to represent the weight of the man as well since the, the man has a weight of 200 pounds so that 200 pound weight is going to act somewhere here let's say and it is going to act in the downward direction so we will have that 200 pound force acting somewhere here now we can apply the equilibrium condition so if i apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero and this is our positive assumed direction so as we can see that this sine component is acting in the upward direction this is t sine of theta and then the uh, normal force is going to act in the upward direction so we will write plus n the weight is acting in the downward direction so this is minus so i will write minus 200 and this is equal to zero so this is we can write that this is t sine of theta plus n this is equal to 200 now we have two cases in one case uh, the rope is making angle theta which is equal to 45 degrees and the other case we have theta equals to zero since the rope is horizontal so we have the angle theta equals to zero and the remaining uh, vectors will remain the same we will have that weight going to act vertically downward here this is 200 pound and again uh, the friction force will be acting in this direction since the main is uh, applying the push on the ground in the up in the left towards the left so we will have the friction force towards the right so let me show that friction force here as well and we will have the normal force in the upward direction so everything remains the same but the tension uh, in the rope is making zero degree angle in this particular case that is in the second case so let's say that this is that tension t which is equal to w divided by 3 and here we have t equals to w divided by 3 so now let's let me replace this t by w divided by 3 since we are interested to find that weight so this is w divided by 3 and this is w divided by 3 so now this is the general equation for both the case so now if we consider case one case one in which theta is equal to 45 degrees so we will put uh, theta equals to 45 degrees in this equation so that will be w divided by 3 sine of 45 plus n equals to 200 and if i multiply this whole equation with 3 so we will have w sine of 45 plus 3n equals to 3 into 200 will give us 600 so this will be the equation 1 for case 1 now for case 2 let's see for case 2 the theta of the rope is zero so the tension is making zero degree angle so now if i substitute theta equals to zero in this equation so sine of zero is zero so this term will become zero and we will have n equals to 200 so the second case is simple for the second case we get n value equals to the reaction that the, the ground is applying on his feet is equal to 200 pounds so this is for the second case and now if we apply the summation of forces along the x axis that must be equals to zero for both the cases as well so now as we can see that we have this cos component which is going to act towards the left so that will be negative since this is our positive assumed direction so minus t cos of theta and then we have this uh, small f which is equal to 0 0.6 and this is acting towards the right so i will write plus 0 0.6 times and this is equal to zero now this equation is valid for both the cases so again for case one this is case one 
so now for case one we need to substitute theta equals to 45 degrees since for case one theta is 45 degree so and the tension t is w divided by 3 so we will write minus w divided by 3 cos of 45 plus 0 0.6 and this is equal to 0 so this is for case 1 now for case 2 for case 2 theta equals to 0 since the rope is horizontal right since the rope is horizontal it is making 0 degree angle so again we have to put theta equals to 0 in this equation so this time cos of 0 is 1 so we will have minus t minus t plus 0 0.6 and this is equal to 0 and as we know that t is w divided by 3 so we need to replace this t by w divided by 3 so w divided by 3 now the second case is simple we know n value so we can substitute that n value here and that will give us the maximum weight that can be lifted so we can write that this is minus w divided by 3 this will be equal to minus 0 0.6 n and minus will cancel out from both sides and we can write that the weight is equal to 3 times 0 0.6 n and this is equal to 3 times 0 0.6 and n is 200 so 3 times 0 0.6 multiply by 200 this gives us 360 pounds so for the second case the maximum weight that can be lifted is 360 pounds so this is the answer for the second case now for the first case uh, since we want to find n so from this equation or from this equation we can find n in terms of w so from this equation let's say i can write that this is 0 0.6 and this will be equal to plus w divided by 3 cos of 45 and if i divide both sides of equation by 0 0.6 so we will have n equals to w cos of 45 and 3 into 0.6 is 1.8 so now here we have n in terms of w and we will substitute this n in this equation so that will give us that weight so now we can write that uh, w sine of 45 plus 3n i am substituting this value in this equation so that is w sine of 45 plus 3n so plus 3 and now n in terms of w is w cos of 45 divided by 1.8 this must be equals to 600 now from both of these terms we can take the w as common right we can write this as w and this will be sine of 45 plus 3 cos of 45 divided by 1.8 this must be equals to 600 now we have all these constants we can find this coefficient of w this will be sine of 45 uh, sine of 45 plus 3 cos of 45 divided by 1.8 this gives us 1.1.885 1 w this is equal to 600 and we can say that weight that can be lifted in the first case is 600 divided by 1.885 so i will divide 600 by my answer that is equal to 318 approximately so the weight 318.19 or we can say that it is approximately equal to 318 pounds so in the first case uh, relative to case 2 we can we can raise we can lift lesser weight than the case number two so in case one we can lift a maximum weight of 318 pounds and in case two we can lift a maximum weight of 360 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions